Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So I was thinking about like an item that I know pretty consistently sells well and is a Bolo and that you can pick up at like, I know TJ Maxx and Marshalls have them. I'm not sure where else people source them from, but um, definitely, definitely a good item to be on the lookout for, especially if you can pick it up on clearance. So I'm gonna go in and just so you, show you some of the high solds and you know prices definitely vary on this item so definitely if it has a SKU, put it in you can also search ebay by um putting in a brief like title description but definitely definitely do your homework on this category search solds don't just buy it because you see the brand because it, it it's definitely the, not all items in this brand are created equal I will tell you that. So I'm gonna show you. So um, be sure to subscribe if you have not already done so and click the alerts button. That'll alert you when I post new videos. Okay, so again, very popular item. Most people know this is a bolo, but I kind of want to show you how big of a bolo it can be. So it's Ray Dunn. All right, so I'm gonna go in Let's go to auctions just because I love auctions. And I am gonna go to number of bids first. All right, so let's search that way. So currently, this is number of bids first. It's not by highest first. If I go highest first, you're gonna see a bunch of items with zero bids that are probably overpriced. Never check that way. Don't If, if somebody has something listed, that people can list things for whatever they want. That doesn't mean that is the value of the item. You definitely want to be searching solds or auctions with bids. So here's like Boo, Trick or Treat, Happy Halloween. This is a cool, cool set. Um, again, probably something that would do really, really good in you know September or early October. But this is currently at 255.10. I don't know if this is, it says hard to find. So I don't know if this is one that people are picking up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, or if it's just something that somebody has had around their home and, you know, maybe they collected them and now they're selling them. Not sure. But um, here's one that's just a handmade bold that says Nourish, $490, guys. Jelly beans, hip hop. So this is kind of Easter related. It's at $63. So not huge. It's a little chirp birdhouse. That's a new release. So you can kind of see. This seems to be a popular one, um, this little birdhouse. So if you can pick those up cheap. Again, you know, the jelly beans, Easter's around the corner, so people are grabbing those. But yeah, the birdhouses seem to be a hit right now. We all know the mugs do good. I mean, they have the cute little sayings on them, like Mama, Hello Spring, and people like are into that. This one's only at $6.77. So that's not like, I wouldn't consider that a bolo. I mean, what'd they pay for it? Probably five or six bucks, I would think, if, if they got it on sale. So um, that just gives you kind of an idea of how all over the place they are. Now, I wanna show you something. So let's go into buy it now. And let's do highest first. So again, this is another example of maybe this is just somebody trying to get lucky and it's really not worth that much, or maybe there are solds that have shown that these items go for this price, but 5,999 is what this seller is asking for these. This one's only got 22 hours left, so I'm guessing this is not gonna sell for that amount. But you can see people have, like this says boss, <laughs> and I'm guessing, you know, boss is like such a big thing on posh, like posh boss and stuff like that. So maybe they're trying to get a, that market. I don't know, but that's a lot of money for a mug. So yeah, I'm just kind of showing you prices. Now let's get to what is important here. Let's look at the solds. Okay, so I'm gonna go to all listings and we are gonna go highest first, okay. So all listings highs first. This one is a thousand. Says it sold for. And again, if you go in to the listing, 
if it's set up here that this item has been relisted, you would know that it was a, it did not get they didn't pay for it. So that one does not say it. That doesn't mean that they didn't click relist. They can always click relist again. This one went for nine hundred. All right. So this one says T best offer. Hmm. I'm trying to find one that, okay, so let's look at this one. This one says 900. All right, so I want to know what this sold for, and it's a best offer item. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to type in www.flipper, ah, tools.com, maybe, can't type today. All right, so once I go in here, I'm gonna click on eBay best offer actual selling price. And I talk about this a ton in my videos because I found out about it not too long ago. I've done a video on this, but I just think it's awesome about it. And I know so many people don't know about it. So it'll bring you up to this screen. So you get the listing and we're gonna go in and we're gonna click on this. And Right here is the item number. We're gonna cut or copy, I should say. I'm gonna copy that and then I'm gonna bring it here and I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna click paste, I'm gonna hit okay. And you can see they took a best offer of $625. Um, it does say there's a Facebook group for Flipper Tools. If you wanna check it out, you just click here and you can join their Facebook group. They have other tools but this one is by far my favorite. So 625 is the best offer. So they originally had the 900 and they took a best offer of 625. I will show you another trick here that somebody in the, my Facebook group told me about. If you're not a member of my Facebook group, I will post a link in the description. Be sure to check that out. So somebody said, you can see, if you click highest to lowest, this is 800, 799.99, and then it goes down to 680, you know that this, falls in between these two numbers, which is great and fine and wonderful if you if the, if these two numbers are close, but 680 to 800 is a pretty big gap. So if you wanna know, that doesn't make sense, unless they took a best offer on this one. Maybe it includes the shipping. Oh yeah, it's highest price with shipping. Okay, I'm like, that. I'm totally telling you guys wrong. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, so they've added the 625 plus the $89 shipping. So that puts it in between these two. And this one only has $10 shipping. So I thought I was mistaken for a minute. So here are some of the big money ones. Again, so this one's at 560, so you know that these three sold for less than 560. Um, but more than 615. So, but if you want to know, you just click on it, grab the item number, go over here, click it in this toolbar or search bar, and hit OK. All right, so you can see your high dollar ones here. So, search the SKU or go in and search it by um, like canister or mug or whatever it is, birdhouse. Now, what I wanna show you is, let's go to lowest first. So these, these sold for $1 with free shipping. I don't even know what to say about that, $1 with free shipping. They obviously did not make any money because it costs money to ship them. So I don't understand this one. Does anybody understand this one? Oh, maybe people are buying, maybe the person bought 20 of them. Okay, so let's see, make your own Ray Dunn. Oh, it's a decal, ornament decal. Okay, all right. So, yeah, that's really confusing. Okay, so it looks like I'm really confused. 
So they must just mail you the decal, but I mean, still at a buck, I mean, if they put a 50 cent stamp on it, they're still, I mean, they might make a quarter. Are they allowed to do that even? Okay, anyway, moving on, sorry. I got off on a, a see more decals. I, uh, that, I guess it's okay, I mean, people are doing it. So let's get to the actual, okay, so there's another decal. See, these are Ray Dunn inspired. So these aren't even, that basically means they're fake, right? It's a mug and somebody's put a decal on it. Huh. Okay, so those are not comps, guys, because those are not legit. So let's go in. So this is a spoon rest. And it sold for four bucks with 530 shipping. So some of them, I mean, this right here, it's a soap holder, sold for 337, 599 shipping. So if you go into TJ Maxx to try and buy this, you're probably gonna pay at least this. So you're not gonna make any money on it. So definitely don't just go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and buy up all the Ray Dunn because you see things selling for 300, 200, 100, 500, you know, whatever, 50 even dollars, because there are things that sell for way, way less. And I know they make like dog bowls. I don't think, yeah, right here's one. Like this only went for 9.59 with free shipping. I mean, I, I don't know how people are making money on that. So do your homework. That is my advice for you is make sure you search comps. Don't just go buy it because you saw that Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn sells for big money. It does in some cases, but not all. And there are collectors out there that will pay a lot for something they don't have. So thank you for watching and have an awesome day and be sure to subscribe. And check out my featured seller videos. I feature people um, from my Facebook group that have bolos, things that they have bought low and they sell high. Those are my favorite videos. That's where I learn the most. Um, I do videos like this sometimes, things that I feel are educational and helpful to resellers. Um, but my main focus is featuring other eBay sellers. And if you wanna be featured, um, I'll post a link in the description that'll tell you how to be featured, okay? Uh, again, thanks for watching and have a great day.